From the studios at 5 Eyewitness News, we're having some summer fun in the sun on Twin Cities Live. Hey, welcome to Twin Cities Live, and we did it. It's Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Elizabeth Reese, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Look, we're coordinating because you spilled makeup all over the shirt that you were going to wear. There was a flinging of a bottle, and then he was like, I hope that didn't land on my shirt. Sure enough, it was like blah, 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 blah. Okay, you guys, so I walked in the office today, and I asked everybody in the office, I said, I said hey, office. <laughs> And we all replied, yes, Ben. <laughs> you guys ever had one of those days where you're just clumsy? Mm -hmm. I, this is one of those days. I don't know what it is. I will go to pick up something and I don't pick it up on the first time. I go to put something down and it falls over. I'm like, what is going on? I go to like do my little makeup thing before the show and it, is, blah, it goes like, it just like flew out of my hand. It was very bizarre because you had plenty of space. I mean, you were like off to the side in your normal spot. I don't and know, it man. It was a whole thing. Maybe you're out of sync with the universe. Maybe you need to do some like, hmm. What do they say? Maybe like Pluto and Uranus is in retrograde. I don't it's know. It's Mercury. I don't know why you had to bring up Uranus. Or Uranus. Okay. Some people call Uranus. They I don't do know. that I to like... try to be fancy. I know they do. That's it's it. more fun to say it the other way. But I don't know. Maybe it's all in retrograde. I don't know what it is. My brain is like moving faster than my thingies in my body. Pluto's not even a planet anymore. <laughs> hey, this is exciting. We have a great Friday show planned for you. If you start flinging things, it'll be good for ratings. Don't worry about it. Uh, my high school friend, Brianna Brown, is here. She's an Apple Valley High School graduate. She's been on ABC's The Rookie. And she is appearing on the Netflix show Outer Banks soon. We're going to chat with her about that. She launched a new podcast. I just recorded an episode with her. I was a guest. Whoa. I, I can't wait to listen to that. You She's guys. fantastic. I'm very excited about this little segment with her because we are big fans of Outer Banks. Big fan, The Lieber huh? family, big fans. Ooh. I know. You know, it's uh, it's like one of those uh, shows, if you guys have not watched it, I'm such a huge fan of The Goonies when I was growing up. It is the one show that if I'm TV scrolling and I see it and I don't care where it's at in the show, I sit and watch. Really? It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. And this has that feel of that. It's like it's like, an, uh, like a teenage version of Goonies. Well, now I'm going to get into it because Brianna's in it. If yes. she's in it, I'm watching. That's just although the character that sounds like she's playing, I don't know. She's kind of she's kind of linked up with the like kind of the bad guy. Well, she's good at playing the bad one. She's that's that's Brianna's specialty. She, yeah. she looks so like wholesome and innocent, and then she's like you really know who else is bad and a little naughty? Ooh, it's Ted Farrell from <laughs> Haskells. He's here too. He has a special six for sixty deal. They're all Merck and made wines in honor of Independence Day coming up next week. So that's gonna be fun. Very good, and we're gonna wrap up. A week featuring Rochester as part of our Twin Cities Live in Your Town series. I'm very much looking forward to this story because we're going to get to go inside the Plummer House. Kristen is exploring this mansion. It was once home to Henry Plummer. He started working at Mayo Clinic in 1901. Five stories high, you guys, this house, and it contains 49 rooms. We were talking about if you visit Rochester, you might want to take a tour and we're going to get you a little sneak preview of that today. Okay, that's one of those deceptive houses. Like I don't see five stories. But I yeah. guess we're going to check it out. It's tricky. Maybe there's low ceilings. I don't know. We'll see. It's like one of those magic houses. Ah. So speaking of Rochester, we did have a great time in the Med City yesterday. The team from ABC6 joined us. You guys saw Robin and Maisie and Randy and they all their their favorite desserts that they found there in Rochester. We had a lot of sweets yesterday. I it was <laughs> unbelievable yeah. how many sweet treats we were having. For a health conscious city, they were really hammering us with the sugar. Um, we went to ABC6 before the show. We stopped over there so that we could record some commercials, some promos that you're going to soon see if you watch us on ABC6. We really had a nice time hanging out with them, getting to meet their crew, their GM, the news director, all the people who work behind the scenes to bring you fantastic quality newscast that, uh, down there in Rochester. So big, th I mean, everyone was so welcoming. Like we oh, walked so in the, yeah. the door and they were just like, you're here. Hi. It was so nice. I know you arrived a little bit later than me. So they already rolled up the red carpet. Oh. But it was really nice to get there, you know, when I did. And they did the, show there me was, their makeup There was room. red carpet and mm. there was champagne and it was it was great. I'm sorry that, 
you didn't get a chance to get all that. They had an out outlet for me to plug in my curling iron because my hair was like flat, and they were and they said this makeup room, you know, it's it's okay. I was like, guys, this makeup room is sweet. I know, yeah, it's it's actually a nice little it makeup room. Nice. So they were uh, so good and hospitable to us. So thank you guys. Also, big thanks to Chester's Kitchen and Bar for hosting, and we have some of the the best fans and the best viewers and everybody. They came all down to to Rochester and to to Chester's to like be a part of the show and everybody was super nice and we heard a lot of great stories and talked to a lot of great people. Yeah, we really did. And on the way to and fro, we got to pass by Wanamingo, which was very exciting because we had Lindsay from Blondie's Butcher Shop on earlier in the week and we, I, we just like when we get to say Wanamingo and I was very tempted to pull off the freeway and stop in Wanamingo so much so that I texted you, I voice texted. I was like, text Ben Lieber. <laughs> I wanted to stop in Wanamingo. Yeah, and then what did I say in response? And I will I will out myself of being just a complete silly weirdo. As I'm driving by, I said it out loud multiple times in my car all by myself. Wanamingo. Just because it's fun to say. It rolls off the tongue. Wanamingo, wanamingo. All right, we're being told our free for all Friday is starting with a surprise from Rochester. Twin Cities Live executive producer Mike Marcotte. Uh, we want to know what it is, but first of all, Mikey, you yeah. killed it yesterday. Yeah, you great were job. working so hard. I mean, Mike, we had one of our staffers get a flat tire and not make it, so we were down a human being, which is a lot when we travel because we just need every everybody to yeah. be there and Mike stepped up I mean intern Grace was oh like gosh, a rock Grace star was amazing. we just have the best crew in yeah. TV they were awesome it was an awesome show thank you to everyone who joined us at Chester's yesterday you can watch all the segments on TwinCitiesLive.com okay so one of the viewers who was at our broadcast yesterday her name's Arlene Arlene gives me a basket of stuff and I was like yeah Arlene this is great I'll look at, <laughs> at it later and I said to Elizabeth I said to you Elizabeth I said hey a viewer gave us a basket of stuff yeah. right okay yeah. Great. You did, and you showed me the basket, but you guys, it's a frenzy in there. It's like, a frenzy. We, we yeah, a lot of you yeah. give us stuff at broadcast, and it's really sweet of you. So then this morning, I opened it up in the office, and these are really cool. So I need to show you these. They're labeled. So, Elizabeth, that's you. Oh, Woo! I am never Look at that. There better. Is. No, Elizabeth. don't show the real me. Just put the <laughs> no. other one up. Because that's I you. am a smoke show. As look at that cocktail look, dress. Look, look at the quad Ooh, split that Scotty gosh. put up. Yeah, so there's Elizabeth on the left and Elizabeth on the right. So that's an Elizabeth doll. Uh, and then Brian pan over because next to that is the Kelly Hansen doll. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Wait. Kelly oh. Hansen is sitting there. Yep, there's Kelly Hansen. Cal's Bell. Yeah, that's the Kelly Hansen doll. Oh, she looks glam. I, she's ready for a night out in Indiana. Great pumps there, Kel. Yeah, great Kelly, pumps. Yeah. Kelly doesn't great. stand up on her own. She's a little tipsy. Yep. Yep. And then we got the next one I think is spot on. That's the Kristen oh, Hobrecht doll. Oh, That's yeah, 100% Kristen Hobrecht right there. That is uh, Kay Hobbs, and she would wear that outfit. That looks like a live shot for Kristen Hobbs. Totally does. She's <laughs> it just probably, looks like she's live in Shakopee. Oh, yeah, or she's at an art installation or something. We had one more, and it says Julie on the top. So we think it's Julie DeRoche <laughs> from the <laughs> DeRoche <laughs> Realty Group. <laughs> Look at you, And Julie. she's out for a, a night on the town. Oh, my gosh. She's got, and these are all, like, here. Let me bring them over to you because, okay. Elizabeth, at least you need you. Because Arlene made all of these. Arlene, and you they're are all really Okay, now I can see the detail. Oh, yeah. She really, like, well, knitted it's slash on my head. We can play that. Twin Cities Live now, you guys. Here, you can play Julie and you be Elizabeth. Yeah. And you guys can make Julie. Play. Oh, my God, this was a really bad choice to wear this in the summertime. I don't know. Julie, why does Daniel always want a bubble bath at every house that you go into? It's kind of strange, isn't it? He likes his knees and tees covered. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here, Kelly's on and vacation. Play with, play with Kelly. She's oh on vacation. Wow. She won't okay. watch this. I, we, I can't do that. I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm all played out here. Yeah. This is it. This is all. But, these, but aren't these they great? Outfits, look at this. is fabulous. They're super cool. She made these clothes. So she crocheted yeah, these. Yeah, she crocheted them. Oh, and they're she also so brought cute. us some like dish covers that are crocheted up. Okay, I kind office. of want this dress though in my actual size. I wonder if she oh, could do I, that. I, I should, Arlene can make it. See, again, Arlene email us. I have a couple galas coming up. Yes, oh, you guys see what I just did? I don't know where that goes. What are you okay, doing? see, I'm telling you, I'm having a day. Yeah, that's the belt. Yeah, well, it fell off. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's the tie for her jacket. Honestly. Okay, we got to get to um, it. You were talking about your makeup. Ben, people want to know what makeup you wear. What oh. type of makeup? Is that what uh, it's, just brand? A Mac, it's just a MAC uh, makeup. It's just one thing. It's like a liquid foundation that, I don't know, I that was recommended. stains, from, apparently. From TV people when I started the job. Look, I'm not a makeup guy. <laughs>
I don't know. I don't know anything about makeup. I just have to put this one thing on, and I'm good. If oh. you want makeup recommendations, just email me, guys. I'll email. Email you Elizabeth, not Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are. A lot of people are asking. We will have uh, best of shows airing next week here on yeah. Twin Cities Live. Oh, they're we have good some ones. Great shows. Yeah. Our show from Mystic Lake is airing. So if you were in the audience there, uh, make sure you tune in next week Our for that show. Our brunch bites show. That was really fun. That I was a delicious that. hour and a half. I I have a bartender friend who loved that show. He was like, "That's oh. the best show I've ever seen." I was like, "This wow. is great." That you love that show, yeah. Um, but people are asking, what are you two doing for the 4th of July? Oh, gosh, we're staying in town, mm -hmm. and we have a bunch of really fun family things. My sister is in town from Texas. You know, my middle sister lives in Texas, mm -hmm. and so she they rent a house up here for a month, so they're up, so we're going to get to spend a lot of time with them, and uh, we're going to go to fireworks and spend some time at the pool. It's going to be great. We're excited. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of the same thing. I say we're staying in town, but we are going out to our cabin, which is not that far away, so it's basically in town. Uh, we're not going out of the state. Uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time there this weekend, and then we're going to have some people over on the the third, I believe, just because we're chasing that weather thing. Yeah. I think the fourth may not actually be Great Lake Day. Okay. And then I'm taking Ames. Uh, she has a big equestrian show in Michigan. So I'm going to take oh, her on Friday right. to go to Michigan and uh, watch her compete for a couple days and then come back home. That's, is that the one in Traverse City? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute there. I, I love it there. We'll go cherry picking and oh, all that stuff. Michigan's yeah. really adorable. Fun. Yeah, um, I'm going to be on during Twin Cities Live at 4 with a round of places to watch fireworks. Oh, good. On the 4th of July. So yep. I'll be back in about an hour. We're glad. Uh, people are asking, where's Ben's doll? Maybe maybe Ben didn't get a doll. Well, maybe we don't have a Ben doll. Maybe yeah. someone should you make know, a Ben doll. It's a Ken doll, not a Ben doll. It's, Ooh, it's yeah, fine. I, you know, as you guys were panning over, I was like, is that mine next? No. No. Is that, oh, no. no. I'm, it's fine. I'm a little, I'm a little hurt. Slightly offended. Well, Arlene only, there's only so many hours in the day, you know? Give Arlene a break. All right, what else? Um, That's fine. We'll work on a Ben enough. Ben I'm enough. kidding. Ooh, I ben don't, it does I like not ben. bother me at all. Um, so fun. Uh, Raj wants to know if we're ever having an audience again. Not in here this, in studio. I don't think in this studio, but that's why we're getting out and about. And right. um, we're getting out and about as much as we can. So these Twin Cities Live in Your Towns are really fun. Uh, we're hoping for some more shows, like our Mystic show was fantastic. Of course, the fair is a big deal. And l if you own a venue, invite us. <laughs> Maybe we'll show up. Do you own a brewery? Yeah, if you've we'll got like an by. awesome pole barn or something out there on you your go. farm, we'll come out there. Your barn right? dance at Queen your City's barn? live, live on the farm. Live on the farm. Oh, I now love that. you're into yeah. something. That's great. Woo! That's oh, an I idea. Like that, that wasn't from that. Was that from Raj in uh, Concordia, Kansas? I don't know. No. Oh. That's they don't have to live on. Yeah, that's my father-in-law, like, oh. and, and we his name's Roger. We everybody just calls him Rod. Right. Oh, that's funny. right here, Rod. Um, Yvonne Rod. recently moved here from San Antonio. Hi. Oh my um, gosh. And she's craving empanadas. Oh. Where do you go? Well, Beluto mm. has really great empanadas. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about yeah, Beluto, and you can get the pizza and the empanadas. And Beluto's pizza is. So mind blowingly good. Mm -hmm. It's just delicious. That's where Jay and I went after we went to the basketball game with you and your buddy. That's right. Remember, we popped over to Beluto and we had such a great time and it's fantastic, but they have really delicious empanadas. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I can't really help you out. Well, I just did. So there's well, I know. Del Sur empanadas one. is really oh. good too. They're in Malcolm Yards, right behind us here yeah, at that's KSTP. Right. They're fantastic. Oh, I like those, those really empanadas. Yeah. Uh, those are very, very good. Um, I lost the page. Oh. Oh, just refresh. Don't worry, Mike. It's right? cool. It's We're just talk amongst five. yourselves. Talk, talk amongst yeah. yourselves, yeah, right? We'll give you a topic. Um, what uh, favorite thing you ate in Rochester? Because we had a full show yesterday of sweets. Yeah, well, I uh, would say. We, what was the best thing you ate yesterday? So I was recommended by a buddy of mine that the chicken wings, and I was talking about it on the show. Yeah. The chicken wings at Chester's. They lived up to the hype. Yeah. Because they, they finished them on the grill. So they get a little bit of that like, crispiness from the grill. Fantastic. Those Mwah. were uh, Chef's delicious. kiss. That, I had a bite of that chocolate cake. was so good. I would say over the whole week, though, too, mm -hmm. the brisket from Smoke Barbecue and then that coconut cake oh, yes. um, from right. the honker. The Canadian honker. Yes. That Canadian was so honker good. Was just so good. Like, uh, Tracy, our, who's on, you know Tracy from our team, I mean, she really, she has pretty good self-control with, like, all the treats that come through, <laughs> and she crushed the coconut cake. I was like, that's how good this is, that Tracy yeah, was like, was I'm really, throwing caution to the wind, I don't really care, good. I'm eating it. it. It was really good. Yeah, when she earned it that day, yeah, she was she was hustling that day. Like, you just take the biggest slice you can. You guys you have know? great restaurants in Rochester. Yeah. I can't wait to go back. Um, an update on the Ben doll. Um, Jen Appleberry, you know oh, Jen yeah. Appleberry, yeah. she's Appleberry going Zanuck. to make you a Bendel. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jen. You're Thanks, so Jen. very nice. Appreciate that. That's good. Uh, ben yeah. is Jen's biggest fan. Be Jen is amazing. 
Um, she's so funny. She also has a question. Here? Summer bucket list item you're excited to do with the kids. Oh boy. Well, I get really excited for our annual cabin trips and we have a couple of them that we do. One of them we didn't get to do last year because our house was broken into, which was a bit of a downer. Um, but now we, we go up to Cross Lake once every summer mm -hmm. and then we go up to Northern Wisconsin once every summer. And to me, it's really like those traditions are the best. Like they are counting down. Um, we go to our friend Dustin Cook's cabin, Dustin and Trisha. So we call it Cookie's Cabin. Mm -hmm. And so my kids are like, how many days till Cookie's Cabin? How many days till Cookie's Cabin? So those things are just so much fun for me. Yeah, I don't know if we have like a, like a set list of things that we have to do. But I just look forward to we take one sort of last summer summer vacation you know last couple of years we've gone up just north of Park Rapids this year we may do that we may actually go meet some friends down in the Ozarks of all places in Missouri Fine. Um, so we're still trying to figure that out but yes excited for a, a few more days away uh, before yeah. the football season the Ozarks, starts really because be uh, preseason football starts in early August and then uh, my weekends are gone I'll go. be here before you know it Mikey thank you you're very welcome okay we'll see you back here for and I also have to say um, Franklin turned seven on 4th of July my son Woo! Franklin when I I was asked what am I doing over 4th of July? Celebrate a child with a birthday. birthday. Yeah, yes. Happy birthday, little buddy. All yeah. right, Thanks, what else Mike. should we do yep. here, Ben? All right, thank you guys. Uh, our wine guy, Haskell's Ted Farrell, brought three wines. <laughs> Look at him there. Uh, buy one, get one free. They're all from America. America. And they will pair perfectly with your 4th of July barbecue. That's when Twin Cities Live returns. Stay with us, friends. <laughs>